Good morning. Welcome to Lower United Methodist Church. We're happy that you're joining us for worship. And before we start, I want to remind you that this year we will have the traditional poinsettias and you can order a poinsettia in honor of someone or in memory of someone. So if you want to have uh, ordered your poinsettia, please contact us, contact the office, send us an email, a message, and let us know who do you want this poinsettia to be honored for. And now I invite you to center your hearts and quiet your souls and as we listen to the music, let us begin to worship the living God. hearts give thanks at all times and for all blessings as the people of God we give thanks for each other we give thanks for our church we give thanks for our nation and for believers all around the world join me in the call to worship we gather to give thanks this day we join each other in glad thanksgiving we give thanks to God for his amazing grace we acknowledge the blessings in our own lives. Let us rejoice together and give thanks. Let us worship God, the giver of blessing and life. Join me in the opening prayer. Generous God, you have brought us into this land with flowing streams, valleys and hills, fertile plains and majestic mountains. We give you thanks. We give you thanks for the beauty of this land where we are free to worship you. We give thanks for your church and for believers all around the world. Amen. Yes, on through 
life's long path Still chanting as ye go From youth to age by night and day In gladness and in woe Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice Give thanks and sing At last the march shall end shall rest the pilgrims find their heavenly home Jerusalem the blessed rejoice 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 give thanks and sing praise God who reigns on high the Lord whom we adore Today we lift up our hearts to the Lord and I wonder if there is a reason for you to give thanks today. What are the things that you have received from the Lord, the blessings that fill your heart? Do you have many reasons? This is the time in which we lift up our hearts to give thanks. Oh Lord, we give you thanks for all your love, for your grace, for your presence. You embrace us with your love in such a way that our hearts rejoice us. We can only say thank you. As we look back to this year with all the challenges, with all the changes, with all the difficult moments, we still give you thanks. Thanks, Lord. You have brought us here and you still guiding us toward the future. We trust you, Lord. We trust your love. We trust your presence and we ask, O Lord, that you send your blessing over all of us and the people that we love. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Good morning. The scripture reading comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 8 through 11, and I'm reading from the Common English Bible. God has the power to provide you with more than enough of every kind of grace. That way you will have everything you need, always and in everything to provide more than enough for every kind of good work. As it is written, he scattered everywhere. He gave to the needy. His righteousness remains forever. The one who supplies seed for planting and bread for eating will supply and multiply your seed and will increase your crop which is righteousness. You will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous in every way. Such generosity produces thanksgiving to God through us. Give thanks.
bless us with gifts that are uniquely our own. We yearn to live with gratitude for all that you have done for us. Forgive us when we fail to be grateful and we fail to see your blessings in our everyday lives. Help us see each other with gratitude that we may be your loving presence in the world. Amen. There is greatness in the power of God for those who believe. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. Continuing 2 Corinthians chapter 9 with verse 12 through 15. Your ministry of this service to God's people isn't only fully meeting their needs, but it is also multiplying in many expressions of thanksgiving to God. They will give honor to God for your obedience to your confession of Christ's gospel. They will do this because this service provides evidence of your obedience and because of your generosity in sharing with them and with everyone. They will also pray for you, and they will care deeply for you because of the outstanding grace that God has given to you. Thank God for his gift that words can't describe. We thank God for that gift that words cannot describe, the gift of thanksgiving, the ability to recognize that we have been blessed abundantly, the realization that God the Father sends his blessings day in and day out, the understanding that he has the power to bless us with all kinds of graces, and he does. He does because in the heart of God, the desire is for the people of God who thrive, who bloom, who be filled of grace so they can be the people he wants us to be. So the more we give with that generosity, the more we share with the world, the more his graces fill our hearts. What an amazing gift, the gift of thanks, thanksgiving. The ability to understand that all we receive comes from God and that gives us the joy to do the good works we want in the world. 
people that go around trying to do good things on their own, they soon lose their motivation and their desire because the world is difficult. Life gets complicated and the things that surround us sometimes bring some darkness to our hearts. But here is the scripture reminding us the gift of thanksgiving will help our soul, will help our hearts, will help us look up and give thanks for the things that we have received from the Lord. Because that assures our hearts that this Father that gives and scatters so freely will be there for us no matter what. So life can get complicated and difficult, we still can give thanks. Not only that, this thanksgiving from our heart to God and from God blessings to us can be spread around the world. The scripture is telling us that the more we give, the more we share that grace we have received, that peace we have received from the Lord, that joy that fills our heart, that love that we can share so freely, the more we give, the more we reach out, the more we embrace others, the more our hearts rejoices. And in their hearts, we plant that seed of gratitude. That's the amazing thing of gratitude. Not only fill our hearts, it plants a seed in the others that could be people we love or could be complete strangers that when, we, when they see our obedience, when they see our good works, when they see the joy in which we serve the Lord so freely, their hearts, their hearts begin to have an understanding of gratitude. And there it comes, bones anew, a heart filled with gratitude. And the more gratitude spreads, and the more gratitude grows in the hearts of people, the more we're blessed. Because people who are grateful for the things we do, they pray for us. They bless us by they begin to be motivated, encouraged to do the things that we are doing and share that gratitude, not only from their heart to God, but for the people around them. That's what we understand is the transformation of the world. Gratitude makes that happen. The gift of God that there are no words to describe. Gratitude. Gratitude in our hearts that give us the strength to do good, that fills our spiritual life, that multiply the fruit of the Spirit, joy, peace, love, faith. And the more we share the generosity of our heart with others, the more gratitude surrounds us, the voices of our hearts giving thanks the voices of our hearts rejoicing, the voices of our hearts recognizing how amazing this Lord that we serve is, that fills us in such a way that we cannot describe that grace. What an amazing thing that this Father of God fills us, surrounds us, sustains us, encourage us and give us all kinds of grace for all kinds of situations everywhere we go and give us the opportunity to share that gratitude and love with the world. The voices of the people of God rejoicing in his presence. The gift that there are no words to describe is gratitude. These are times for us to give thanks. Yeah? There are still many things that we can give thanks for. Even though things have been taken from us, 
even though we see suffering around us, even though sometimes the darkness of the world feels too thick, our hearts can still give thanks. Together or at a distance, the gift of gravity transforms the lives that touches. And this transformation is what changes the world. It is time to give thanks. It is time to rejoice. It is time to say, thank you, Lord, for the gift of gratitude. Amen. Let all things now We go into the world with thankful hearts. We go forth to seek justice and love mercy. We go to proclaim the tender mercies of our God. Go in the presence of the living God will sustain you and keep you forevermore. 